What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode here at Trouble Lunches. Today, we're filming the episode everybody's been asking for. We got Mr. Oscar here. We're going to go and hate on every single Bronco that's here because none of them are as cool as ours. Right, bro? Right? Right? No. It's day five, dog. Yeah, day five. our energy levels are kind of low five. because he has been here for a little bit longer than I have. And then we partied hard last night. That's hence why we have glasses in here. But we're going to have a good time. We're going to go check out and break down every single Bronco that you see on site. And then Fontana's with us, too. Show your so last name, dude. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that last episode where we were going around and asking people what the best off-road rig was. Um, obviously, the Jeep won, but, you know, it's very controversial. You guys can take it however you want it, but it was really fun asking everybody else. And, uh, yeah, awesome. Let's get it, baby. All right, so we just pulled up at one of the first Broncos here that we saw. This one's part of the JKS, J-rated. So this is a suspension, guys, that had the, the suspension on my Gladiator, but now we swapped it out. And then Rock Chalk, first and foremost, front bumper. That's not too bad. This is actually the KOH bumper. So it is the King of the Hammers edition. Oh, it is the King of the yeah. Hammers edition, yeah. It does have the Hammers logo up top. Nice front bumper right here. Dave would be mad if you saw that winch, as always. <laughs> but Bronco's pretty clean, simple. Yeah, we talked about it. It is a King of the Hammers. It should have been like based on a wild track or a Badlands. Yeah. They made them on Harbanks or something. Yeah, that's like, true. They're weird Broncos. It should have been a wild track. It has a Haas, has a 3.0. It, it does have some fancy badges, though, and it does have car fire flares. It's more of a, just an appearance package for King of the Hammer. Yeah, I agree. But it should have been more of a... What do you think about the front bumper, though? It's not too bad. Yeah. It sticks out a little bit much. I think because they had this back tubing for support, it made it push out a little bit more than it probably wanted to. Yeah, it's just it's not a fan of this type of bumper on this model. Because you have a camera, it defeats the purpose. Yeah, of it does defeat the purpose of it. But it does have the camera. KOH graphics. Obviously, this is a fully loaded package. This is a Badlands, actually. That's an oh, orange. It has cool seats. It does have cool seats. The branding is all behind it. So if you guys went to King of Hammers last year, you guys saw this there. Oh, I think they fucked the door up already, dude. Yeah, yeah they did. <laughs> so yeah, too heavy of a tire, maybe a little bit of driving, and boom. Damn. The rear bumper's nice. Not really KOH approved. Rear bumpers. <laughs> That's a big gap. <laughs> and it has braces too. I don't know how they did it. They probably ran into something. Yeah. But there it is, man. So you guys take your pick. This is a clean KOH build. Again, just a Badlands. Couple accessories, sliders, and whatnot. Let's keep it moving. So now we're at the Ford Performance and Ford Accessories parts. And uh, this is one of them that really stood out when we were out here. You come out on the side, it's got the doors from Bronco. And then just the colors, the way it stands out with the board and everything. It is a beach package. It is a beach package. Cool. It's like, you're not gonna offload this. Like, it, just... it does have your Corolla seats though. I do not like that. Dude, why being a hater? The seats cool. suck, dude. You actually, suck. these look like they have like covers for, for the actual beach. It is a cover, yeah. So that's actually kind of nice. But yeah, it's a cool truck. it is a pretty cool truck. There's the package. It's a Bronco Beach package concept. If it did come with these graphics, it's kind of sweet. The wheels are nice too. Yeah, it's a nice truck. It's just simple. It's not a wheeler, it's a cruiser. Let's see what kind of buttons it has. Uh, nothing. <laughs> so it's a base base. It does not have switches on it. It's got the beach package. Open the door, that's it. It is a 2 3 also. Stick shit. Stick shift. The color's nice. Very basic on the outside. The color package is really sweet. I don't know. Overall, again, you're not going to use this to do much of the crawling or Baja running, but it, it's like a special dishes. Dude, that grill is really grill. nice. Yeah. I wonder if it's just paint or is it like something that they actually did? I think it's painted to match a free will. Yeah. If you follow for the they used to make the free little packages kind All of. Alright, let's shit. hold on. Oscar, we gotta give them ratings. What was the rating for the last one we just saw? That was cool. From a ten. We gotta go from ten. Well see those are weird because if you look up a Bronco KOH edition, there's like four different models. Yeah. That's part of the top of the line one. The rest kind of suck. But in, you, in, know? you know, our like, standards. This is a good one. People are expecting like high standards from us. We already did cool this one. twice. You can take that out and wheel it. has a winch. It's got it, skates. It is a bad lance. It, it does have. It's going to have what you need. You so know? we'll get what? Seven? That's, yeah, that's a solid seven, eight. From a, for a back three car you can buy from the dealer, it's solid. Solid. To get it. Solid seven. And then this one. Obviously, this is a very different package. More like unique build. Unique purpose. The same for me. This is just going to the beach, cruise. It's a nice truck overall. Like if you have a classic Bronco, everybody wants just pretty truck. This is it. Yeah, if surfing is your thing and you're not really offering much, this, this is. This is like a classic Bronco vibe. It's yeah. just nice, it's cool. You cruise it. That's it. I, I, Bronco, I would give it a seven also. Yeah. Just different. just because the appearance package is so, yeah. so cool. It's two different categories. Yeah, there it but is. It is a nice one. Seven. 
All right, now we're pulled up to one of the newest ones that they brought out from here. It's called the Concept, so it's the ORV Concept. This one just has, I think it's one of those things where like, it is a manual though, and that's what's really cool that all the Broncos that are in the Ford Performance booth are all manuals. This is a 2.3 manual, seven speed, and they kind of just, I don't know. It's I'm kind of, I'm very biased against these builds because it seems yeah. like they just throw a bunch of accessories on it. And that's then they, and they just like name it a different package, right? Yeah, they just added wheels, little door pocket doors. Yeah, so it'd be cool thing. if they did something like, I mean, they are putting it under like performance it should have some performance stuff to it not just kind of like jeep yeah. right when they do the xr package you get gears yeah, yeah, you get yeah. a better tire you get chromalis this is all cosmetic yeah this is all cosmetic so it does look kind of cool it looks nice and i don't know about the bushwhackers i'm not a fan of those too much yeah a typical light bar the graphics are kind of cool i do like the color scheme but i always like white cars anyway so me personally i would not spend the money on this though. yeah i wouldn't spend the money on this i would i would get a badlands stock one for over this all day every day but it's really nice again this is the ford performance orv the badge is right there very unique badge um, the, wheels too, the, the wheels are nice i am the wheels brought some nice wheels yeah and it's right there in action yeah there it is so that's the orv give it a rating Five. What are we doing? We're doing it at five. No, five? Uh, it's high, not dude. as cool as the other yeah, ones. Yeah, I'm dropping this like to like a three, to be honest. Yeah. I, it's, I, it's mid. I mean, it looks pretty. I would know? say four. Right? A four for the wheels. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're going to give this one a four. But only because, again, I think it was like a lazy way to do it. They just threw a bunch of accessories on it. But it is a manual, so that's kind of cool. But it also only has a 2.3, so that sucks. Small performance. Yeah, step it up. We need something we didn't really do much last year was break down the sports. So we're going to try to find as many as we can. But this is a sport that's here at the Ford Performance um, booth. And this is a free wheeling concept. So this is pretty cool. If you, if you follow the Fords, they used to make these are chromatic actually. Okay. They've been doing this since like the 70s, which is they usually like orange and yellow, but they do they are reflective. Yeah, like the 70s, right? Yeah, if you find it on a 70s Ford, it's beautiful and they brought it back on this. I'd love to see it on the big Bronco. Yeah. I mean this is a step, you know, we could actually get it on our trucks now. The wheels are fancy. Yeah. Wheel Again, were nice. No chrome. Yeah, there's no chrome, everything's deleted. It's really nice, really clean. So if you're out there looking for a Bronco Sport, this is a really nice package. It is a concept, so we don't know what they're gonna do. Um, oh, there's the tool set that we're talking about. Yo, that's tool set, it's sick. Look at the box it comes into, it's really, really nice. I still want a Bronco Sport, I don't know why. Yeah, the the free wheel is cool. supposed to be like your off-road rig, nothing fancy, no chrome, no nothing, but they did have nice performance aspects to it. Yeah. I'd love to see if they brought it back to this. I just wish they didn't give so much plastic underneath. Like some more skid plates and stuff would be sick. Yeah, but there it is. That's what the front end looks like. I don't yeah, know. But it's the true. The free wheel special did have all black bumpers. Black yeah. Black bumpers, so. And again, we're not going to say like, I don't know, as a rating. I would give this one above this one. Definitely. I would take a five of this, right? I mean, it's still yeah, a sport. It's still a sport. We but can't give it a bigger rating than a regular big Bronco. But it is fancy. The color is really, really nice. Yeah, the rack is nice. Is it a Badlands? Oh, it's a big band. I don't know. Yeah, it should have been on a Badlands. It should have been a Badlands one. Nah, we're going to drop it down. I'm going to say it's a four. Just because the scheme is really sick. But I'm going to go with the four. But yeah, there you go. If you guys are Bronco Sport owners, take a look. Buy the stripes. It is a big band, but just buy the stripes and get a Badlands. Good ciao. So now we're going down here. Obviously, you guys have seen the West End one by now. But this is their build. And honestly, their build is nice. Um, it's very simple. I mean, I guess it's like a simple aggressive because they did do fenders. They did do kings. They did do bump stops. Yeah, they've had, you know, we've added a bunch of performance stuff to it. The only thing, I mean, obviously for the show, they had the rack and all that stuff, which my opinion, I got to be honest with it, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah. It is a long travel truck. and. Yeah, it's not something that you're going to see very often yeah. if you do this setup here. So suspension-wise, everything they did to it is really, really nice. Uh, Wicked Creations did the arms, then they went with Kings. But again, they are trying to sell parts here, so they load it up with a bunch of stuff that normally wouldn't be on it, it and they'll probably remove it. No, you, oh, I don't know. The, the thing did to... Yeah, I wouldn't open it. The alarm sound earlier. But they do have electric steps, so the E steps are really, really nice. And then again, the inside, yeah, so they have the them. PRP seats. Yeah, they did the PRP seats with the harnesses. I'm gonna plug in my own product there. I made the brackets. <laughs> <laughs> but we did have the four point harness to it as well, which is not many of the Broncos I have. It. Yeah, the four point harness is really cool. The back seats have the covers. It's really, really nice. I of these. I installed them. It's it's a pain in the ass. It's a pain. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've seen them do it before, it is, it is. but it, is, it does have the three three inch wide, right? 
It's a three and a half inch wide. In the front? The front, yeah. And then the back just has some offset wheels. The wheels are from Tremor, or from Tremor, right? Yeah. yeah the Tremor V-Lux are really. Tremor v -Lux. Yeah, the Tremor V-Lux are really, really nice. Obviously, he's kind of king's in the rear too. He's got the brand new tire carrier. And they've actually upgraded this one. They had one before that kind of. You yeah, know, they're still in testing though. It was they're a testing, the testing one kind of they they they, they made the modifications. Yeah, and, and oh. even this one's still not out probably to quarter two mm -hmm. from what, everything that they said before. But they got steps, they got the roof rack. I mean, it's all done up again. They do have to sell parts out here, so you'll see some things that are on this truck that probably won't be in when you actually see it on the road because they do wheel it. So um, you guys will see this at EJS if you guys are out there. I don't know. I give it a strong seven, I seven mean, eight. As it stands now, I'm gonna drop it to like a six just because I don't like a lot of stuff. Well, the it. accessories, of course. But I did build this truck and it's, I mean, it's got all the performance stuff, but for the Well, we gotta remember, they're here to make for money. The show, yeah, they're, they're here to make money, but as a usable truck, um, the only thing is it is a 2.3. Uh, yeah. So that kills it kind of a lot for me. Yeah, so I hate driving the 2.3. So. Yeah, but interior is done up. I mean, the PRPs look really nice in there. Suspension, wheels, everything. It obviously, it's on Falcon RTs too. So I don't know. Those mirrors are hideous, by the way. We're gonna talk about that later on. Um, but all, all you know, all done up. Weston did a good job on it. The wraps, Captain America. I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> the mirrors are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, strong seven only because it's a yeah. two three. It was a. If it was I a. I would actually give it higher if it was in its. That's. It was uh, yeah, in, in its true form. Yeah, so it's true form. I'd give it higher. But yeah, in its true form because it is a usable truck. It'll move and it'll drive really, really nice. They do have the uh, upgraded package for the inside too, so it's it's just nice and it is a balance. Yeah. It's, a strong it seven? It is a strong seven. Yeah. I would Could've say it's strong seven. So there it is, man. But that's the Western Bronco. If you guys have any questions on these parts, also ask around, man. We know the answers. Let's go. Let's keep moving. We're here at Trail FX, and we're looking at their Bronco. It's um, it's very different. We're just going to say it's different. It's because they did a full rack on a soft top. So they did a full rack on a soft top. Oh, yeah. That's that's the big difference. So if you do have a soft top, this is a full rack. It does kind of stick you out a little bit more. Yeah, you can't open off the soft top, but it does go around it, which is kind of, I don't know, from the front angle, it looks a little bit different to me. Excuse me. But as you guys can see, it kind of sticks out on that end and on this end a little, quite a bit much for my liking. I, I just don't, what do you see the yeah. purpose of that for? Uh, don't, just put it on it. <laughs> That's yeah. about it. I mean, obviously this, rack on your soft top this is probably more of an Overlander style build if you want to just accessorize it, carry a I bunch of... Carry a bunch of things out there. These wheels I want to point them out. They're kind of yeah, those wheels are sick. They're cool. I like the they added the hub, so it gives it that OG yeah. you know, worn manual hub lock. But then they should give you a different set for the rear. If you know what these are supposed to be, or were they kind yeah. of showing? You know, it's but it should have been a solid cab. Yeah, it should have been a solid it cab. Look cooler. It's the small touches. It's a small touch. It should and give you a regular. This is on a Dirt Logic suspension. I haven't really seen anybody Stop with a usable set like that. Yeah, no. Um, we never seen one out, and then I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the fenders. I'm really biased about how those things look. I think the factory ones look really, really nice. And then I'm a big fan of the fun haver ones. But this one's just accessorized with other stuff. I mean, uh, it kind of seems like an Amazon build type truck. Yeah. Just went online and bought everything from the company. Yeah, and nothing to knock on the Stroll FX stuff, but it's just, I don't know. It just seems like a little excessive um, if you're trying to sell some stuff. To me, in my opinion, you got to tastefully do it so that way people can see it on their rig too. I think the biggest problem with all these bumpers is that the factory one is so nice. So yeah, you see this they're like competing that. against so a really not, nice factory bumper. Yeah, it's kind of a hard. Yeah, so that's that's a good thing that Oscar just said that because the stock modular, if you do get yours and you do get the modular steel one, it's honestly still yeah, probably the best looking one. To me, one. that's a downgrade, but that's almost every yeah. one. Yeah, to me, that's a downgrade. And it does look like this when you uh, add the carrier to the, exactly. to the modular, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say three. Yeah, I mean. The bush, I mean, these fenders are not my style at all. Suspension is still pretty basic. Yeah, it, it's just a Fabtech drop kit. It's just a Fabtech, yeah. Three? Three. All right, we're going with the three. I do like the color though. That Ford Blue is nice. It is pretty. All right, Oscar. Yes. Is this the most accessorized Bronco here? It is, but it does have some cool accessories though. For like, you know. I do like this awning. The awning's pretty sick. Yeah, the set awnings are cool. You don't have to bother with opening them up. This yeah. They just slide in and that's it, you know. Yeah, which one was the one that you had on the back for a while? ARB. ARB, right? But even though you got to unfold it, which is a pain in the butt. Oh, yeah. This one just slides in and out. Yeah, that's true. All right. So we're going to break this one down. These fenders are a little better than the last one that we saw. Because they're not as square looking. They actually rounded them off a little bit. The front bumper, a little much for my style still. I didn't have one problem with this though. What? So these are very solid steel. Yeah. This is aluminum. If you hit this, I'd rather have a plastic one. Oh, for sure. This is going to destroy your fender. Yeah, but to be fair, I've blown up plenty of front fenders and nothing stops it from getting damaged anyways. Plastic. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. But yeah, so this front and the front bumper is obviously very um, unique to all the other ones. This one does have electric steps. I, and this front, front bumper does look like kind of like an ARB setup. You guys can see it has the red hooks, the round fenders. Dude, these boxes are like a scream defender to me. It's oh, really nice. E yeah, the e boards, yep. So this one does have electric steps. It's actually like stuck suspension. Check out their system. Oh, yeah, the drawer system. Oh, that's oh, pretty cool. It has a lock in, lock out for sure. Yeah. So it locks out right there. Oh, and it goes triple. Oh, oh man. That's pretty cool. This Only for the four door? Sorry? Only for four door? Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? Just six inches on your two door? Dude, I want, I want to extend <laughs> three like that, dude. <laughs> yeah, somebody make something oh, like that for a nice. two door. The door, yeah, the door system's really nice. I'm not a big fan of these ladders, too, on the side. The doors are not my favorite either. You can accessorize it a ton here. So it does have a lock. Oh, well, that's pretty cool that you can lock all your accessories. Oh, and, and then it drops cool. down. Oh, with the little uh, shock. So it doesn't just drop down right, on you. Right here has a working space. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you can take care of some tools there and stuff. Also, we can put this whole system out and then put the tire carrier attached to this. So you can uh, use base. it? Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice it's a tire carrier or an accessory box. So there's six steps so you get to your tent. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that is pretty cool. So they do have a, again, I wanted to show you more in depth, the rack in here. It's really, really nice. So they did accessorize that, the outside a little much for us, but honestly, their drawer systems from Winbow, they got it easy up. They got these boxes on the side, that's your style. Honest, honestly, the back is the best piece of it. That box storage system in the back fits really, really nice. You kind of load it up with whatever you need. And the accessories are pretty sick. Would I package it completely like that? Nah. No. What a five? Yeah, man, they got some cool stuff. If you like, you know, the ladder system is actually kind of cool. The ladder system yeah. is kind of cool, yeah. If you just kind of want like an overlander type of rig that you're not really going to take out. As an overlander, we'll give it a strong six. Yeah, it's got some nice. The drawer system in the rear is pretty sick. And it's actually a very nice quality stuff. Yeah, and then there, you know, the shade. It's just nice. It's I pretty, love cassette on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, it retracts. So nice. Yeah, so this is from Winbo. Solid six. The, R, the inside is pretty basic. It's a black diamond. It does have all the fancy electronics. That's what it is. So we give it a strong six stock suspension. Yeah, so it's got something on it. Oh, it's got some arms for rough country. Yeah, it's very ARBs, yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty sure the accessories are not the most expensive ones, but they're actually nice ones. Yeah. We gotta look it up. So, it's a nice truck, actually. Let's keep moving. Winch Let's equipped? Yeah. Let's go, baby. Super winch equipped. Dave would be proud. Alrighty, so we're here at the next one. This one is in the... Dude, what color is this? I don't think I've seen a Broncos color. Gray. <laughs> it's, it's charcoal, for it's sure. Gray. It's dark gray. I don't know what that color code is called, but it's this one, cool. I don't know. I'm not a fan. You know what? Honestly, I got those doors for the Jeep, and I don't like them. This. Yeah, you can adjust it. Some of them you could adjust, but they have like a little bump stop. This but this one, one doesn't. This one does. No, this, this one doesn't. Yeah, I'm not a fan of tube doors. So if you guys are thinking about tube doors, I would say go against it. Um, they did the fender deletes on this one. It is a black diamond, stock suspension. Interior has the Corolla seats. Not a yeah, fan of those. Wheels, the wheels are pretty sick. Yeah, dirty, dirty light beat locks. Like I would do it. Uh, it's kind of cool. Look at this. I don't know. It kind of sticks this, out. This is too much for me. But it feels cool though. I mean, they put the jack on this. I'm, I'm still scared of when people are modding on this. Yes, side. man. This one looks alright. I just don't like the spacing. I think if you're mobbing through the desert, that's not bad. It's it's bad for it. This is a tire cut. That's cool because it actually replaces the hinges. It does replace the hinges. Yeah, that does make it a lot stronger. <laughs> And and if you're gonna top. buy any tire carrier, make sure it's one of these that replaces. Yeah, that replaces your hinges. All the plates, I make it myself, and I wouldn't sell it because they don't work. Yeah. Forget this. Or if so your bumper's cool. okay. It's not too bad of a bumper. This is from Body Armor. You can see the top. We got some accessories. We got the rack up here. Got like the spider shade type style. On the inside, this one has all the buttons. 
not all of them actually it's a black diamond so no front sway bar disconnect but it is a sasquatch so it does have lockers and the color's cool it's pretty simple front bumpers it's not too bad it's not too bad this one doesn't stick out too much it does have kind of like the the extended piece here it looks like it might be replaceable too it looks like it, it might be bolted on but a couple tow hooks really clean this one does not have any fenders so they did the lead on it and that's what it looks like not too bad this one's my body armor if you guys are interested in other stuff you can check them out there's the mesh top the e-boards e-boards are a big thing at SEMA this year everybody has uh, their own set there it is so this Raptor has a rear bumper also okay yeah this one's a little more in this one has a little bit uh, less protrusion so that way you can put a high lift on it but obviously a Raptor just looks good and it's in black light bars pretty simple doesn't look too bad rigid lights do okay do they do, they do their job I do like the front. It's kind of weird that it's flat here. Obviously, that's for the tray. It's for the tray and then the sensors. But they has a lot of sensors too. Yeah, but they should have had something here where like, you yeah, know what I mean? It looks a little funny. It looks a little funny. It looks a little plain to me. I get it. The sensors are there, but you got to get more creative than just like a block. In my opinion. Yeah. I mean, the Bronco is kind of giving like a, like a challenge. It does have the Alpha Rex headlights. The Bronco, like, especially like this one with a lot of sensors, it's a challenge for manufacturers. But it's been three years. It has figure been three years. Yeah, figure it out by now. It does have e-steps. It looks like e-steps are the thing this year, man. Everybody has, yeah. as I said, even Weston did. I do like a black Raptor, though. Black Raptors seem to be... Nice. With, with the bronze wheels. All right, so wait. We got to grade them. What are we grading that one? I don't know, 5.6? All right, so, I mean, the truck is cool. The tire carrier is cool because it replaces the hinges, but how much they stuck it out for no reason? It stuck out a lot, yeah. And I asked the guy why it did it. He said, just... <laughs> well, and also, it's a two-piece, too, which is kind of weird to yeah. me because there's more places for it to fail if you have bolts. Yeah. So, and they're a pain in the ass because they're backwards, so you're exactly. going this way. So it is kind of weird. Yeah, I, I mean, don't know. It has a build, it's not, it's not really a build, they're just showing their product. Yeah, I would say five. Yeah, it's got to give it a five. And the Raptor is still a Raptor, so we got to start. A stock Raptor would be a five already. <laughs> yeah. uh, the wheels are pretty nice, not too, too bad. I mean, not a real huge fan of the tires. Raptor's a Raptor. The Raptor's a Raptor, I don't know. We'll give it a six just because that's a five. Oscar said this is one of his <laughs> favorite the ones. of SEMA already, man. Dude. Man. I like the float design of the rack. You what? The floating design doesn't attach to nothing. You just get a couple of magazines and you hold it up. Hell yeah, look. Okay. This is our favorite build right here. So you don't even have to bolt it on. You yeah, just yeah. you it just, just sit it on. on top you zip tie some of the back. Some good harbor shit on the <laughs> Dude, that's never gonna come off. That's probably the safest build right yeah, there. Yeah, this is built built. And oh man, two-tone color steps. Oh, what is you doing, baby? I don't know what the it does have like the wing in the back, so for all the downforce, the downforce wing. This, hey, tell this, the people, dude. This screams overseas to me. It's it's a, our opinion. Don't get your panties in a twist. Nah, this ain't not our opinion. It's a fact. <laughs> they got the color match fenders. Fawn, would you drive this? Yeah. Fawn would not even drive it. That's your wish. She drives a Jeep. She drives a Dang. That she barely drives because it broke. Oh, sorry. Damn, dude, why are you hitting all the buttons today? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't, yeah, you really haven't slept, huh? <laughs> no, it's day Yeah, so I mean, if you're gonna bring a rig out to SEMA, you can borrow a truck that's gonna be better yeah, than that. Bring a stock rig, don't bring Yeah, it. Like, like you could put a, you know, a winch in there at least. These are uh, double toned. I mean, there's a market for everything. We say this stuff, but in Florida, you see some of the dude, shit they no, do out not there. Not even this, not even Florida. Guys. I don't know, dude, this is pretty close to Florida. If you're gonna bring this Bronco here, just bring a camera. Yep. Dude. <laughs> hey, don't do don't do Camrys like that, dude. Camrys are nice. <laughs> dude, this is the most reliable rigs, huh? What are you talking about? Those got me to a lot of places when I was young. That is true. Yeah, I mean, bring hundred. We're not gonna give it a zero because it's a Bronco. Dude, no, this is solid. One? You can't even drive this thing. It's a zero. Nah, we'll give it a one. It's a Bronco still. Wait till it drives out on that rack. Just dude, it's not even side. a Sasquatch, dude. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't bring this. It's SEMA. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's true. It's SEMA. Do it's better. Belong, it belongs at the bottom for at Apex. Do better. I think this company's called Powerful. Yeah. You're looking real non powerful right now. Sorry, no. but we're not sorry. You got a zero. Alrighty, Oscar. Talk to us. Why is this one so special, dude? Paint job. Dude, this paint job is incredible. Look at the freaking details in that. 
I mean, they have all of them. It, yeah, so Quake LED always brings the wildest builds. They always have like Chia Pet Broncos, <laughs> double stack Jeeps, you know. But this one right here, this Bronco, the paint job, the details, it is over the top. What's the red one? I don't know. I don't even know what the red one is. But this thing is absolutely gorgeous. The paint job on this thing. It's a bad man. It has all the buttons. Does it have all the buttons? They probably just did those custom then? Yeah. We're we'll calling it by the name. Oh, dude. Calling it by buttons. There's a blizzard box back there. Oh, look at that. Shout out to yeah, Jerry. Just be easy with the paint. Yep. No FTP yet on there. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. Look at that. You see the details in there? It's awesome. And it's simple. They didn't overdo it. The side steps are nice. Fenders are obviously matched. Front bumper's pretty simple. It is from Metal Cloak too. A little bit much on the lights, but I think they did it so they could pop everything. Obviously, it's from Quick LED, but it's sweet. I don't know. This one by just the paint itself. It's crazy. Cal Customs. Whew. So killer. What are we looking at? I'm not just pointing out the best thing on this truck. What is it? Get the, get that horse, dude. Surprise. Oh, it's like dude, it's a unicorn. <laughs> dude, he went from a 7 to an 8. Dude, that's done. That's dude, awesome. and it's metal cloak, too? Sick. Yo, that's sick. All right, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. I need that. I want to put wings on me. I do like these things. Yeah, those, those are pretty cool. Some Molly's from Addictive Designs. Yeah, ADD, nice stuff the ADD does make they cool stuff. They are some of my favorite ones. These are cool. These little covers too? Yeah. What are these? I don't know. Those are covers. Those are covers, yeah. I need that. That's pretty sweet. I don't like the tail lights. I don't find it no. else. Come on, get out of my shot, Sorry. dude. You <laughs> made it better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the unicorn up front, it's crazy paint job. This was an eight. It might not be like super, super usual. I mean, even the suspension's metal cloak, so you can actually probably drive this a little bit. I don't know. This will never really see much, but it's gorgeous, man. Jesus. All right, we're giving it an eight. Just because of the unicorn, it's dude. A beautiful truck. And the unicorn did it. And they built it on a battle and everything. They did it right, I think. So there's a the build sheet if you guys want to look at it. The chow. Alrighty, so we just pulled up to the Attica booth. This is Daniel, our boy that comes in wheels. That's actually his Jeep there. It's also here. It's just outside. We'll go check it out later on. But this is the Attica booth. Here's the Attica Bronco. Pretty cool, simple steps up front. They kept it kind of, kind of basic, not too, too crazy. The wheels are really, really nice. They have like an old school vibe. They're black rhinos too. It is a Badlands. That, that's pretty nice. I actually like yeah, that. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's a blinker. Dude, and taste lights in the back? That's pretty sick. That's pretty cool. These tail lights are nice. The tail lights are nice, too. They got different tail lights and headlights. Dude, look at the trash room with the water room. Thing. It's pretty nice. It's a water room. It's a water room, <laughs> dude. It is. It's a water room. Yeah, the Tapui. I mean, they kept it pretty simple. Yeah, it's a simple. Good. I'm really not a fan of their rear bumper. It sticks out a little much. Their sides are pretty nice, but they are... They're not even pinch well. I don't even know where they mounted them, really. It's kind of just like another Overland style build. Yeah. This is to be a subject now. Like I agree. Overland off road. I mean. Yeah. They're not respecting the Broncos, dude. They're saying they're all Overlanders. Damn. Damn. But the rims are nice. I don't like these headlights, so. What is it? That one. Yeah, that one's kind of wild. That's just a regular package, right? I mean, the Bronco has really nice stock headlights. The stock, I mean. yeah, the stock LED the package bad is nice. One. Mine has some crappy headlights. But come on, Daniel. Get your people to put what super winches it? in there. <laughs> they will be pissed. Uh, so there is, I don't know. This is going to be a 4 or 5 to me. Just because it's kind of kind of plain. They didn't really do much. The, the thought process behind it is pretty simple. Not a huge fan of their bumpers either. But it is a balance. And the wheel choice was nice. Solid 5. Loves to break down trucks like this. Let's do it, dude. This is called the Hella Battered Garage Barbie Edition. The paint's kind of... Oh, it's because it's not paint. It looks like it's wrap. wrap. It's wrap, yeah. So the wrap is here. I'm going to step back right now. It does have patties, so they obviously don't care about grip. <laughs> I know that there's something new, though. It doesn't matter, dude. I mean, they're so crap. It doesn't matter. 
They still have Milestar on them. It still says Patagonia. There's no grip there. But, dude, dive in, dog. There's a lot to talk about. Well, I'm going to ignore everything. The only thing I want, I even want to acknowledge on this truck is the portals. Because it, we could dive into it quite a bit. Okay. It does have portals. People think it's like a huge upgrade on the Bronco because you get clearance. But if you know an IFS truck, you know, if you've driven one, you get all tippy and stuff. Now you're just going to get tippy on 40 inch tires. Yeah. Portals are cool. In my opinion, they're not for the Bronco. You're not going to get more articulation. You're not going to get more travel. You're well, getting nothing but height. That's I think it. most people are addressing strength, right? Because the strength. And then, not to mention, so. Specifically, this portal, you're attaching this heavy portal on a 42 or whatever size this tire on a stock spindle, stock arm setup. Yeah. Your ball joints, your everything's not going to be happy with this. I don't care what you put on it. That's a lot of weight on a stock spindle. Yeah. So basically, what we're saying is you'll never see this on on a no. trail. Like this is basically just for show. Obviously, we see the purpose, right? There's a lot of rigs like this at SEMA, um, but usability also. I mean, we're we're talking from a perspective of performance and. Um, this is not this is not it this is not that and i've heard the comment of an off-road vehicle you need to be taller yeah no it's not this is not the way to get it yeah low center gravity is kind of where it's at honestly my my gladiator yeah. does anything i throw at it and i'm not the tallest i've always kept it very low to the ground that center of gravity keeps you planted keeps you from rolling keeps you from tipping and um yeah i, yeah, I mean that's a solid point for sure i've gotten that question not about the portals because people say why do i run long travel over portals I wheeled the truck with portals and it's like wheeling a stock rig just yeah. with big tires. You know, you're yeah. not getting nothing out of it. Wider, you know, it's not better. And you know, uh, Lord he Healy, all those guys that build these Ultra 4 cars, they've tried everything. They've done IFS, they've done portals, they've done solid axle. I mean, every single one works with a certain particular moment. Um, so that is a good point. Lauren Healy does run portals, but he's running a full build portal yeah. on a full build suspension that yep. fixes all the geometry. One is a full build. This rig is stock too. geometry with a portal. It's yeah. Just, yeah, the stuff that they build and, you know, they pull the portal from a race truck and they put it on a regular car. It's like the race truck has different everything, yes. like arms, the mathematics, the everything they did to make it all work together is different. Yes. And like you said, these don't come as a one piece solid, like a 74 weld. These are just an addition. This is definitely like a bro dozer Bronco type thing. Yeah. I mean, the wrap's cool. The idea is awesome. Yeah, I actually like this color. Yeah. The front bumper, bumper looks nice. I actually do like the bump, the, the hood like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that light bar. It looks very Michael Knight to me. <laughs> I think it's Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check it out. Best oh, mirrors in the market. Dog. Best mirrors, dog. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Who are we trying to contact, my guy? I don't know. What's the rating, dude? These wheels are nice. The wheels are sick. I would give it to the wheels. The powder coated ring, race line, V-lock. What are you rating it? Because of the portals, I'm dropping this trip down to like a one. Damn. Sorry, you, 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 you're you taking performance away from a stock Bronco. A stock Bronco will perform better than this one. All right, there you have it. It's not a problem. Oscar's bad. I'm gonna give it about a four. And only because they did the interior brown. I really like that. No, they did a lot I of like the wrap. Too. I like the tires. I mean, I like the rim. No, no delete that. <laughs> whoa, I li I, whoa! Oh. I like the rims a lot. Um, they did take the mirrors. I don't know. It's a little much. I'm gonna go down to a three. I think a three is a solid three, and only because we're talking from a performance aspect. This will never be following us ever. It just wouldn't. It wouldn't be able to. No. So there it is. But I mean, it kind of stands nice. I'm not gonna lie. It has a beautiful stance. It has it's a beautiful cool. stance. It looks cool, wide. Yeah. Know. It'll look sick at shows. Yeah. But that's about it. That's a lot of money, too. Wow. Jesus. All yeah, right, let's keep going. One from you, three from me. Yeah. You know what? It's a two now because of these mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just dropped it down. Oracle, stop it. Stop it, Oscar. Like All it. right. What? So, we're here at one of the most gorgeous trucks in SEMA. It's the only DR here, and it's just amazing. If you're here for this video, you know what this shit is. Yeah, if you're here for the Bronco breakdown, you know this and one was if, coming. If you don't, you're in the wrong video. Dude. The blue. It just, I don't know. At least you kind of speak to this, honestly. Obviously, it's a 5.0. It's just done up correctly. Dude, this one's got the red it too. It doesn't even have five buttons on it. It doesn't even have a disconnect. Just, <laughs> it doesn't have sway bar disconnect. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Multimatic, what's up, dude? You, even, you guys couldn't even buy the band lamps for us? <laughs> Just put something on there. And look at the suspension, coil overs, the way it's all built, the wrap. I mean, honestly, Jesus. So they only built 50 of these. I don't know if they've delivered all of them, um, but they're out. I don't know. It's perfect to me, dude. It's pretty darn cool. If it was a uh, road drivable, that would be even cooler. But but it has a V8. What's a gas economy on this? I mean, I don't even care, dude. <laughs> I just want to be able to drive it without getting yeah, pulled over and bad, uh, dicked, you know? Yeah. Just sick. It's just so sick. This doesn't even get a rating, though. It doesn't count. It's a 10, dude. It it's a 10. It's perfect. This is good. Yeah. Considering doing this to my And it's cool because they mounted it like in factory yeah. mounts on this side, you know? I mean, they braced it all, but. We're gonna ignore the dude, the winglets are so cool. It looks like Pikachu. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. God. It's Baja ready. It's, it's got a. It's. It's like you were all, we all think we're building a cool Bronco and then you pull up to this and it's like, oh yeah, we ain't shit. It's a four door, made into a two door. So the wheelbase is perfect. Fuel cell, the whole nine yards. If you guys haven't seen a DR, look it up, look up the info. Race truck as it gets. Race truck out the box as it gets. Not a cheap ticket either, but it is awesome. All right, so you guys just saw the DR. Obviously, it's a perfect truck. Just in case you guys didn't know, we actually had an opportunity to get number 47 as part of the channel for Trail Militia. We went into the pool, pretty much filled out all the applications, did everything. But it was a pretty penny. Oscar didn't have 250 grand. Bond <laughs> did, but I didn't ask her for it. <laughs> yeah, we thought about it very, very, very... There's a lot of sleepless nights trying to figure out how to make that happen so we can share it with you guys. Um, so yeah, so, just, so in other words, go tell other people to follow me so that way next year when we get an opportunity to get that truck again, we can go buy it and then you guys can drive it and I'll let you guys sit in it and it doesn't have to sit at SEMA where it never gets dirty and it never gets driven. But yeah, we did. We had number 47 and it was awesome. I know that some of the Patreon guys knew I was not able to actually mention it online when I was in the process of doing it. But uh, yeah, man, that Bronco DR is amazing and uh, hopefully we get another shot. And if we do, me, we fight, we kidnap somebody, we rob a bank. We talked to fun <laughs> and uh, we possibly make something like that happen and then be able to share it with the community and, and really do something with it, you know? So anyways, we're just done here at the West Hall. We're gonna walk outside, then head to the South Hall, get you guys some more breakdowns. And then, uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up, man. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Shout out to Vaughn, shout out to Oscar. He's walked the show like 1300 times already. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. He's gonna go pee, we'll see you soon. All right, so now we're on the Overland Experience. Uh, a couple of years back, they always had it on the inside. This time, they moved it to the outside. So we're going to break this one down. This one looks like it's built by a company called AFN, 4x4 America. So, Taruka. Yeah, let's get it. I think at this point, we're breaking down Bronco accessories. Dude, dude break it down. This awning is pretty sick. It looks dude, like it's a, all it's a 360, dude. Uh, 180? 360? Yeah. I don't know. And it's free. Free. No legs thing? Yeah. Sorry. It does have legs, though, if you want them. So it does have them if you do need the extra comfort from wind and whatnot. So the front, so the back bumper looks pretty, pretty cool. It's actually not that bad. It looks a little bulky, a little like it hangs a little bit too low, but other than that, it looks fine. The carrier in the back is not too bad. Obviously, this is more of like an overland style build. It's built to accessorize. They have their awning. They have the shower. Um, Dude, this is the shower and a shower. The uh, slider a, a step. restroom and a shower. Is. The slider step is pretty cool. Yeah, we can shower together in here. <laughs> they did some rigids obviously it's white oscar fits in the shower so that's great fawn's going to the shower hey this one is super winch equipped super winch equipped so they would be proud the afn bumper they actually tow it so that's pretty dope but there it is again this goes by afn i know the tow bar is sick it's got um icon wheels can the tires I mean, pretty basic overland setup. So if you're going out camping, doing something cool, it is a base base. It's not bad. There it is. If you guys want any more info on any of these products, AFN, I don't know. It's got some cool accessories. I like this on here. I like this stuff. I mean, what are you doing It's now? not really a build. It's just yeah. a showing your product. It's a showing your product. We're going to give it a four. We'll just say four. 
They do like their own. It's big. It does have a nice top rack shower, but it is just kind of accessorized. It's not really put together. You could do butt stuff together on that shower. Yeah, you could do. <laughs> you gotta give it points. You could do butt stuff if you really wanted to. So, <laughs> all right. Well, that's that one. Afn. Alrighty, yeah. Oscar. So now we're at another wrap that we just pulled up. This one's by Motley Industries. They do have the cool sets back here, so it's kind of nice. Dude, they have a Ford Performance. Jack. Dude. Dude, what is? Is that a wrap? What is that? Dude, do they just make their own too? I think so. Check it out. It's got tape. It does have tape, so that will save you. Does it have zip ties? It, it does, does have zip ties. It's got zip ties. And a cutter. It's got tie wire. I mean, that's as good. That is pretty sick. That's pretty dope. So there's the Model Industries. It does have the diabolical rack in the back. We've seen that one before. Um, they did like the half rack on the top. Obviously, it is a Raptor. It does have the Raptor steps. The Bronco factory doors. The interior looks pretty stock Raptor. It does have the handles up here. I do actually need some of these. Yeah, those are kind of cool. So there's that. There's Motley. Again, the front bumper. Oh, the front bumper's kind of wild, bro. Yeah, I believe he actually makes that. That's but it cool. does have the Project X's, which is kind of nice. And that mount's pretty nice. That mount's cool. Yeah, it's pretty simple, effective. So you can plug in your your, your Project X's if you really want some for your Raptor. Um, the rest of it, I don't really know what it's for. What is that for, Oscar? Break it down. Wind deflection. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, this is all you really could do to a Raptor. You yeah, that's really, true. There's you not. You can't really build one. You can't really do much to them. You just keep throwing stuff at it. Yeah, that's true. But it is accessorized. This one is from Ali. I don't know. I'm going to give it a call. A solid six, seven, yeah. just because they just accessorized it. They threw the diabolical back. A Raptor is a Raptor. A Raptor is a Raptor again. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to it. I do like the orange paint. That's probably my favorite color that Ford, Ford released on it. Um, but it's sick. But there it is. It does have the pull-out, heavily accessorized. And it has all the cool Ford performance stuff right here. So we'll give this one the six. There's not much to talk about it. It is a Raptor. Raptor is a Raptor. All right, so we're pulling up to the next Bronco here. We only have a couple things to say about this one because it is a Raptor, but Oscar pointed something out. Donald. The Raptor is meaner and greener. Yeah, so. Change your name. Dude, you gotta change your name, Donald. Mean Green. This one is way meaner and it's part of the arms green. Way greener than you dog. Dude, he's got green. I don't know if it's the money, I don't know what it is, but he's way meaner, way greener from body guard uh, bumpers. Dude, the grill, everything. Too much green for me. What I just say is they dyed the gas green. Dude, how do you make a raptor uglier like this? I hate this build, man. And I was getting to you, it has every sensor on because the bumpers don't have like another yeah. the sensors are covered and everything else. Yeah, I mean, this bumper, I don't know. I mean, again, we're going from a per performance aspect. This is not our truck. I can't even afford a Raptor, but <laughs> if I come could on. Afford one, I would not do this. Yeah, if I could afford one and I was going to drive one, it would not be this. But it is next to that. It won't be meaner or greener. Yeah. <laughs> it would be green with the touch of black. Dude, even the top. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, man. You know, some people are like, oh, maybe you color match the fenders. It looks better. No, it doesn't. Not if it's green. <laughs> probably didn't do the shocks. Oh, they didn't do the shocks, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Perfect opportunity, Damn. dude. Or the coil spring. Did they do the coil spring? Nope. Nope. They left those. Dude, don't get lazy on me. If you're going to Yo, go this guys, green. Up your game, man. Come on. They do have billet arms, though, so that's kind of cool. They're not green. They have billet uppers also. Yeah, but, they're not green. But they're not green. They're not green, dog. Physical. Yeah. They should have got the orange stripe. Off of the steering wheel made it green, then that would have been cool. Yeah. Now, if All you're right. gonna do this type of stuff, just do it right. So I'm gonna give it no. a two. It's still a Raptor. 2.5. Okay, 2.5. Because it is still a Raptor, but it does have a warrant, so they will be pissed. Front burper is all green, but that doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's see the inside real quick. It's meaner and greener. That's it. Two points pulled up to the South Hall. We got pulled up to the first breakdown here. This is the TBBB tires to be the best. What? Wait. To be the best tires. Be tire. To be the best tires. T. Be best. To be the. It's a tongue twister, but that's who we're here to check out. <laughs> um, Oscar, break it down. We're going to go up here in the front first. Sure. So ask, Oscar actually likes the fenders. I'm not a huge fan of them. So these are like just their Fiberworks Raptor. They're Fiberworks fenders. Raptor fenders for a non Raptor. So it's like back to those days when you used to put a Type R symbol on your Civic, but you're really not oh, a Type R. God. It's the same thing, dude. Kind of. It's the same thing. Oh. 
I'm not a huge fan of the color coordinating. I always like the offsets of colors. Yeah. But that's just my taste. Um, yeah, the color match tops. I'm not a big fan of it either. Yeah, I'm not. A, just, uh, it doesn't. You look, need something to separate it. Yeah, you need crystal. something to separate the top, especially because we don't have a frame like the fender. Yeah. You know, the the frame on the Broncos. But I mean, obviously, it has rock slider engineering. It does have Kings. Pretty. It's got like a whole Baja kit. Yeah, it has a Baja kit, yeah, with Which the billet I mean, arms. It's kind of funny because it was the body sticks on there. Yeah, I mean, these rims are too big, in my opinion. These are 20s, probably, right? 20s with, like, a zero offset. Yeah, not Maybe enough tire. Positive I don't know. Yeah, these need to poke out a little bit more just to yeah, kind of cover that space. That yeah, to give it that look. Obviously, they have their own tires. They worked with Dosh off road to build it. Um, the hood is sick. No, it's the whole hood. Simon makes it. So the hood is flashy. So the air they wrapped it where it like seamlessly goes into it and it looks it looks fancy. The front end's pretty dope. This yeah. is the front end from nice I think it's, it's ADD, ADD, right? Yeah, it's ADD. Yeah, ADD front end. Bridge lights. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the matching. Um it's weird. It's weird looking to me. But there's the Baja kits, as you guys can see. Very clean, never used. She is super wide. Honestly, it looks just as wide as your truck. I mean, so. not the stance, obviously, oh, yeah. but the fenders are wide. Yeah, they're wider than mine. I'll look into that. Hmm. Dude, he's got your favorite braces on there in no. blue. No. Dude? No. Dude? No. He said I could open it. Open. All right, so we're going to open it up, see what's up. I said the alarm goes off and I was set Which up. one is it? Oh, it's a black diamond. Ooh, the seats are fancy. Look at that. I think it looks nice. Yeah, looks nice. I like, Captain. I like the top. I like the yeah, top. The leather wrap. The leather wrap. wrap? Yep. Sure. I don't know. We're going to give this one a five. You thought they just wrapped it too. Yeah. <laughs> I could get high in there. <laughs> yeah. The color top is just not my thing. Yeah. The tire and rim package is not there. But it is a Baja kit and the hood is really sick. So we'll give it a five. It's got a cool hood. What do you think, Fawn? I like the steps. That's nice. Wow. She went with the steps, it. dude. I know all the things. No. What is this section mm -hmm. called? Cars Cafe. Cars Cafe. Tell them what you did, dude. You were so angry the other day about it. They parked the cars wrong. All right, so when you go to a cars and coffee meet, Wait, you first, never... First question, do you back in your car or do you put it nose in bumper to bumper? Exactly, yeah. So you always back in your car into it. every single spot, right? And they had a bunch of rigs that were just not parked correctly, in our opinion. They're blocking all the stuff that they have. But anyways, we're going to dive into this uh, build here, first and foremost. This is a Weston and Super Winch equipped Bronco. It is a four-door. It does have all their bits and goodies. These cars are kind of cool. I don't know. I'm biased like about them. Because it kind of makes it look slick. It does give it the blackout that he was going for, so yeah. it makes sense. Like, his build actually makes sense. Yeah, so I'm not talking to him. He hates them. One thing he likes is they fall off. They fall off. Yeah, they fall off. I don't think it's going to get out of me. No, that one falls off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the little button falls off, too. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how we know that, but... Uh, some Somebody... Yeah. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's got a Super Winch up front. It's got a Pro Series... This is a Pro Series bumper. No, it's not the Pro Series. XTS. XTS, yeah. And then it's got uh, the electric steps. It did do the delete on the side. The Mesa rack. It's got the Mesa rack up top. Okay, it's got. Call me what it is. I'm starting to like this putting lights in the side. It kind of is kind of sick. I've seen one that was lit up the other day and it was and pretty I nice. I wonder how the sound with this top all See, and I do like the Rhino Line. See how it yeah. gives it that offset? It's nice yeah. to have that offset. And it should make us quieter technically because it makes it more rigid. Yeah, because it's giving it more. more yeah, look at the light cover, bro. You see, the tail lights don't look too crazy. I mean, it goes with his theme, so I, I yeah, approve of it. Yeah, he blacked it out. So, fenderless, blacked out. The guy's got style, I guess. I don't know. I mean, he obviously went for uh, all blacked out with some touches look. And I think he achieved it. I think it looks, it looks good for what he was trying to do. And then, obviously, you want the red rims the just button. to kind of set it all off. You like the traction like this? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean. It's like a truck. I mean, it's. A few accessories, nothing crazy. It's an outer banks. I don't know. Bill thought you got to kind of give him some points because he actually followed yeah, through. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, I wouldn't even consider it a build. Cause... Oh, Cameron. I would say, I don't know, give him a six. Yeah, it's a six. I mean, it's an outer banks. Just because he did this. continue the flow of darkness, you know, like he did black out everything, he's made he's sure, he's yeah, he, he, cool. he kept the theme going correctly. And um, it just stands good, clean truck. But yeah, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna break down Oscars next. First thing we're gonna point out is mirrors. 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there. We just pulled up to Oscar's rig. Obviously, you guys have seen this on my page. Okay. If you followed it for a while, yeah. um, he did rewrap it. He went with the matte red, so it looks a lot nicer. A, I don't need you to talk in this one, dog. Just keep your mouth closed. Ten. I'm gonna do this. Ten. You're not gonna do this. Ten. I'm gonna do it. He has all the bits and goodies from the stuff that he makes. Flag mount, obviously, that's his page. Go check him out. Um, a lot of the stuff that he has on here, he's been building for a while. He has Weston sides, front bumper, and the rear is all set up by Weston. He has Ryko's new wheels. Obviously, he's rocking the RT from Falcon. And then he has the best top, half topper, just like I do. Lights are all the same, just like my build does. But we're going to talk about this real quick. Hold on. Steve's on the phone, dude. Hurry up. He's gonna block that light, but we're gonna talk about that soon. He just had the Project X goodies up top. He has the sick ones on the side pillars. And then he did do the 8.5s up front with the Western bumper, his own mount. Um, how wide is the truck? Dude, it's got bypasses. Did you know that? It does have bypasses. It's we're gonna bypasses. we're gonna talk about that after, but it's right now, bypasses. let the people know how wide and <laughs> this how wide. actually a five inch kit from Wicked Creations. So Wicked Creations, five inch kit. Five over. Um, it does custom axles, custom whole shin digs up front. Yeah. He does have bypasses. Which is probably one of the few Broncos, right? That's done that. There's not a single other one out here. Right now. There's another, not another one. And bump stops. Yeah, but there's a few bump stops out there. I've seen them. But he is the only one with bypasses. He did some fab work up there to make it work. Um, again, the front end is five inch wide, um, and it just it looks good. It looks a lot better than his other wraps. That blue was not it. I'm an idiot. Left wiring through my. <laughs> oh my god. I'm supposed to fix that five Dude, ago. SEMA build at its best Dude, right there. SEMA ready. So okay, Oscar, <laughs> come here. Who are you trying to contact with these mirrors, dude? Seem already, dog. Dude, we're not gonna talk about it. We're, we're just not gonna... opening my truck with this. Oh yeah, dead. <laughs> and his it's truck is work. completely dead. Yeah, it is completely dead. He did use his key to use it. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions, you guys can reach out to AC Fab. He did do PRPs on the inside, so I'm gonna put PRPs in mine too. They're gonna be a little bit different, but it looks really, it looks really nice. The new wrap, the new look is is cool. I'm not a huge fan of these rim colors for this package. I think the the polished look would have been a lot better. He does have to do some work in the rear. He had a uh, blown. He had blown shocks right now. Huh? Yeah, we blew the rears at the last demo. So. so the last demo, he blew some shocks up. He's gonna fix that up and okay. get her good. But this color does look a lot sick. I was told it just has to look pretty. It doesn't have to perform. That's true. <laughs> it does look a lot sicker. He does the flash mounts from Oracle back there. Everything else. I mean, if you guys, again, if you guys have any questions, just hit up Oscar. But the build's cool. I mean. I don't know. We'll give it a we'll give it a strong eight just because a lot of the work that he has on here is custom, okay. and he does have bypasses which nobody does. I'm not a fan again of those rims on this this yeah, color so coordination. We actually but, talk with them like the Bronx. Their Bronx is different, which I think looks weird on my color. It's just because it's darker. Yeah, but I mean, but right. We are going back to Bronx. Bruno and Bronx. all them are super sick. They're they're good people, so we support those that support us. Again, the FF fronts. He does have the RTR front grill. And we actually use this truck, so it's really, really nice. Are you gonna tell me what those are for? Don't tell me that they're. Don't, don't say anything positive. Uh, so you live in Southern California, they're for Figueroa Street. So have you guys seen Independence Day when the jets go up there and then they try to contact the aliens with these things? I think that's what Oscar is trying to do. He's out in the desert all the time. He's going to do, 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 really happen, ask Fawn what happened to me in Calico and why I have these. <laughs> Dude, now you just have more space to get caught on now. But those are from Oracle. We'll go ask them what they're for and what the thought process behind it. Because I'm, I'm interested. Maybe it is for something cool and I'm just too dumb. You know? But anyways, that's Oscar's build right there. If you guys, again, have any questions, contact him. AC Fab. He does skids. He does some custom work. If you guys need some stuff, hit him up. We just pulled up to another Bronco here. First of all, look at this Cadillac, though, man. All right, we're not here for that. But I do like... Is this a wrap? No, it's paint, huh? No, it's painted. Does this look paint? No, it's got a fiberglass kit, but yeah, like dude, they they actually they painted did the it, homework. and that looks sick. Blue. That looks a really, really, really nice. I like how simplicity at its best is is really shown in here. It looks like it has the Baja Forge front bumper. Is it? It I looks like it. it is. It looks like it to no, me. Because Baja Forge has the plates. It might not be the complete one, but it's pretty close to it. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. It's very simplistic. It looks really, really nice. Similar, but it looks nice. Yeah. It looks really, really nice. It's clean. It's got a Baja kit. It's the color. The fenders are the same as yours, right? Just the smaller ones? Fiber work. Oh, same one. Same ones? Okay. Yeah. And his push out is the same as yours, too? No, it's three and a half. So his is three but and a half. does have negative wheels. So oh, so it off. pushes it out a little bit more. Yeah, so the, the problem with doing something like this is you're putting a little bit more stress on everything where a zero offset sits more true to like the Ford IFS setup. But this truck is well built. It's made by Web Shop Manager. They got a couple lights there from Z Road, but you can see him. Check him out on IG. There's some of the sponsors that he worked with. He's got the big tire in the back. The rear bumper looks okay. 
It's a little scraped. I'm surprised. He actually might yeah, use it. Looks like he might see, use yeah, it. These tire carriers don't do nothing. Yeah, the tire carriers don't do the much. There's his rear bumper. The side steps are from Rhino. Well, actually, Gold Rhino makes those. They don't look like they're scratched up or used yet, but you shouldn't expect too much from that. Um, not too, too dirty there, but it's a simple build. Not a ton of mods on it, but it does work. Um, it's got a nice little light bar up front. I mean, honestly, the paint is what really does it justice. The simplicity speaks a lot. I would absolutely do mine like this. Um, you know, it's really, really clean, really, really simple, and it looks like it would just work, you know? So it's pushed out a little bit more than my liking, but the paint is great. The kit is uh, pretty self done. It's got sleeves from JKS down there, Baja kits, just done correctly. And it does have the Alpha Rex lights. I don't know, what are we rating this one? Solid seven? Seven? Solid seven? Yeah, I would say a solid seven. Just because you can actually take this out. As you can get at the moment. Yeah, plus you can take this out and like start wheeling it. Oh, yeah. You know, it would do well. So there it is, solid seven. All right, so this one's actually built for like a police department or something. The color match, the scheme, and the whole thing is kind of set up for it. It does say right for relief right there. So they probably use it for charity work and whatnot. They kind of threw a lot of stuff at it, honestly. If yeah. I was choosing it from a performance aspect, I would not grade it very well. But obviously, this is done it's for... It's got some theme to it. Yeah, it's a theme for sure. And it looks like they use it for, you know, going out to shows and um, representing wherever they go. So for that, it works well, you know. Nice slip. Slip. I don't know. I really... Like small slip light bar. It's cool. Well, I don't like how they did this though. You, you, see, you see how they did like oh, the. Because yeah, you can tuck the wire yeah, through the inside of that. Like just drill a hole through there and pop it out through there. So. What was the point of that? I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, so. Okay. Um, I don't like this too that they matched that instead of being black. That should just stay black. Yeah, the thing yeah. would have been fine. Keep the offsets. People save the offsets. The offsets do a whole bunch better. Yeah, it has the max lighter lights up front. The max lighter lights up front. The bumper's okay. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it doesn't look terrible for this build. Just because they are going kind of for like that police interceptor type look, I, I guess. Drive I wouldn't drive it either. That's true. Um, but again, it is for a good cause. So if they're going for showy, kind of stand outing, like, and you know. And maybe the couple, they were really nice. And, yeah, if yeah. they're if they're going for the showcase and actually standing out, the, really the build goes well. And it has, you know, a couple little things back here. He's got a power tank up front. Nice little Sasquatch setup right there. Couple racks on the inside. Pelican box up top. I don't know. Again, I wouldn't drive it, but it's obviously built for something cool. Damn, look at the mud flats, real. It's a rally truck, dude. Hey, there you go. Maybe we don't know anything. <laughs> Dang. But there it is. The Ruck Rack USA. They, they did beat you with the mirror cover. Their mirror cover is a lot nicer than you. You know what? They got a better grade than you just because of that. <laughs> But this is right for really Bronco is set. If you guys have any questions, follow them, check them out. Um, but that's what it is, man. To each their own. I just wouldn't drive it myself. I think this is about a four. Um, even the seats, just on my taste. But they got patches for days up there. Pretty cool. We're going to keep it moving. Oh, yeah. By the way, Bronco Steve showed Steve. up. Dude, up? Bronco Steve, give this one a rating for us. Bronco Steve. No, yeah. no, no. What is 392 Bronco? Steve. What does Bronco Steve think? Do this right. Okay, what does Bronco do Steve right. think though? Um, mm. Real quick, shoot from the hip. Shoot Real from quick, the hip. Shoot from the hip. I'm not a fan of the rap. I love what it stands for. Uh, but yeah, just not a fan of the rap. From 10 to 1. 10 to 1. I give it a 6. You're a lot nicer than us. I, know. I give it a 4. Yeah, all right. All right. You woke up on the right side of the bed. He is? I almost said 4 actually. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking for the backlash. He does dude. Have boxes. It does have foxes. That's kind of cool. But look at okay, so we give that one a six. Yeah. Oh, well, solid seven I actually. actually. Give that a seven. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. It was a seven. Yeah. I actually like the stance on this one. Yeah. Well, the color's cool too. And the colors. That custom yeah. paint is pretty sick. That's a four factor color. Is it? Yeah, it no, it's not. Blue. That's not anti matter blue. This is the one they got rid of along with mine on year one. Bro, that blue purple. I've never okay, seen this that. This is a 2021. They got rid of this color and my color. That's sick. Look it up. <laughs> He's probably right. Trust me, I'm right. I'm what right. do you know? Right, what do you He's, mean? I'm he's Bronco Steve. Steve, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole plan just backfired, Oscar. <laughs> All 
Uh, we're gonna keep going. We have done a bunch of Broncos now. We're gonna see if we can find any more, and then we're gonna wrap this video up, man. Hopefully, you guys appreciate this video. Again, don't ease the live. We do talk from a performance aspect and just what we think. It doesn't always work, but we do wheel our trucks pretty often, and we try to find all the gimmicky stuff and then all the stuff that actually works. There's Oscar's truck once again. Obviously, let's go ahead. Let him know. I don't like. Let them know about these goddamn mirrors. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. So now we're going to a different flavor. Break it down, Oscar. What are we looking at? For all these guppies that don't know how much money just went into this. A lot of fucking money. So what year is this? 97? 4, 96. In that era, the OJ era, right? The OJ era. I mean, they did one time axles. Dude, these guys went up there. They did not only not put a dry shaft. They put no internals in the damn axle. Oh, dude, that's true. It's completely good. You yeah. Dude, Sick. you gotta save, save weight for the save speed, weight. dude. <laughs> it's a race truck. Oh, no, they kept that just completely Yeah, they cut them off. Oh, they kept them? Yeah. Hell yeah. So it's just two wheel drive rolling? Yeah. Hell yeah. It rolls the fuck out. It's just so clean, though. Even the like, paint on it. I mean, I would never. I, you know what? I'm not even gonna say that. Because as kids, we grow up, they're like, I'm never gonna do what my parents did. And then we went and shopped for the same shit that they did. My dad was a big super builder of the MK1, MK2. And I hated it when I was young, and now I'm my MK2 guy. But there it is. Dude, it does have big coilovers. 2.0s? What are you talking about big? Dude, those are like 15s. Some pencil dick, that's what it is. <laughs> Yo, come say something nice about it, dude. Something nice Jesus. about it? <laughs> it's pretty stylish. It's pretty stylish. You got the 12s. Yeah, dude. They got buckets on their feet. You know the sound system and interior is really nice in this. No, I don't know because they have tinted windows for a reason. That's, <laughs> that's just so that nobody <laughs> knows. No, but we know that that's, that's... Painter taped his oil pan. Where? Yeah, top. Oh, he did. <laughs> that means he's got a leak, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for those of you guys don't know, normally when you black out something... Airbags, you leak, yeah. because you didn't do shit inside. Yeah. That's kind of true. Dude, that's not oil. It. That's how you hide it. It's got that shot down. Probably red. 30, 30, 30 years of you know just life. Dang. It's still fresh though. Yeah, you gotta give it to it. I mean if you like the body this, if you do this, the body's still fresh. Yeah. Like if I just go like this, yeah. you would never know. So I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna cut to somebody else's suspension. <laughs> I'm gonna go boom. And then I'm gonna go to a different car and show the underneath. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Rating it, dude. We still gotta give it a rating. Dude, that thing's negative. They fucked up a Bronco. Wait, so is that worse? Yeah, they, they, is that oh. worse than the black and red bumper one, though? Oh, that one's no, worse, yeah. dude. I don't know. That one. I don't even know if worse is the word. Four wheel drive. This one, they, they literally solid axle swapped it to make it two wheel drive. Think about that for a minute. I think I would drive this before I would drive that one with the red and black bumpers with the thing that zip tied up top, dude. That thing's flying off on the freeway and killing no, somebody. So my guess, though, is you just didn't want to deal with steering. Steering was attached. But on a solid axle, you, steering's a lot easier. You got the, you got the box, you got the... Yeah, it's easy on this. I don't know why I'm not making four wheel drive. They just didn't put it... You still answering my question, dude. They went way out of the way Are we going with this one or are we yeah. going with the black and red one? Which one are you driving? I'd rather do the black and red because I could take all that off. Dude, this. you're picking up way more girls in this. No, we're not talking about taking it off. I'm saying you're driving that the rest of the year. I don't get stuck in this. Think about it. Think about it. I'm going with the white one, dude. That yeah. black and red one's hideous. I mean, I'll show you, Steve. I'll show you the black and red one I'm talking about. Red one is, but you are picking up the ladies. In this one. Yeah. 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 The ladies. You can go down to the LA. You, want. you drive in LA in that? <laughs> you're, picking up, you're picking up some toxic. Yeah. I'm picking up some Good looking Mexican. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going. So, we're going to give it a two. <laughs> performance. We're going for the performance the aspect. Performance of it. aspect. Yeah. So yeah, there Bruno. it is. But we're here. We're right now. We're going to talk about Bruno. He's and gone. then uh, we're keeping. If meaner and greener was orange? Dude, did they put orange seatbelts on this thing or they come with No, they come. You can get the performance really? package, yeah. Damn. Dude. Oh, the only thing slipping in this truck is all the armor on this fucking car. Okay, so back to the same equation as before. I mean, at least they offset the. You know, they didn't wrap the the pieces, you know? They left those black. At least they didn't put my mirrors on it. Th that's true. They didn't put those goofy <laughs> ass mirrors that you did. And they left some of the offset, but I mean. They should have left the top black, in my opinion. Color match wrap, because it's not the, good. Yeah, the color match wrap just... 
Yeah, you would think like, okay, we're gonna color match. It's gonna look sick, and uh, it doesn't. again, it's just the Raptor. The rims are too big, in my opinion. It's just too glossy. Everything is like too glossy. This is still the problem with the Raptor. You can't do. You're downgrading, in my opinion. I mean. Yeah, that's the problem, right? Like, if you mess with it, like the front bumper that comes with the Raptor is so nice that it's like, how do you make it better, right? And I know this thing has all sensors in it. So there's another truck that I guarantee is a Christmas tree. So. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, they tap tan, bro. Talk about armor. Yeah, they, they took all the armor I didn't put on my tire. Dude, that looks like an RC car tire. <laughs> Two. Oh, they did? Hey, you gotta give them points for that, though. Oh, yeah. Style, the greener, greener didn't do that. Style points for the billet arms that are color coordinated with the wrap. Baja designs up top. I don't know. The matching top just doesn't do it for me. No. It really kills the wrapper for me, in my opinion. Unless it's all black, it doesn't go. It really doesn't. The hood's cool. The color is sick, though. I do like that orange. You mean the, the satin chrome wraps? The satin chrome matte orange. I do like that. I do like that color. Yeah, but see, like, they, 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 it has the glassy fenders, the glass uh, vents, and the whatever that is in the back. It does help it a little bit, but I think if the black was yeah, uh, if the black was top, <laughs> <laughs> if the top was black, I think it'd be a lot better. But it's cool. I mean, it's a Raptor still. Nothing much done to it. Other than you don't the know wrap. what the this is for. Yeah, other than the it's the wrap. Two years, I still don't know what it's for. We're trying to ask for for it, but still, I mean, it just has a wrap, a couple lights, rims and tires, it's and that's and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, they did put a lift. It looks like a spacer lift to get it taller. Yeah, pretty sure they just did like the foil lift. Yeah, right? The collars. The collars, yeah. That's how you could do it. But there it is. Another Raptor. I don't know. We're just going to give it a six. Six is good. It's got the ADD in the back. It's uh, pretty simple. I just don't like the not matching. I mean, the the all matching top. It's just not my thing. Okay. Leave the offset. So it looks it's nicer. Raptor. Sneeze slapper. <laughs> And we're gonna keep going. Tommy <laughs> Gano style. Without Tommy Gano style. Look at that thing, dude. Check it out. Come here. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's just Jesus orange Christ, I mean, it's just... on orange. It's got some gray in there. This kid, this guy that orange. didn't color inside the lines when he was a kid, man. And he's got this the new fiber, which I think is kind of weird. It the looks eight. good because that's what the same one that Lucky did, but yeah, theirs looks good on black. Wider, though, and right? it looks good on their black. It should have been a little bit wider, maybe. Dude, what's with the Raptor. freaking matching tops, though? Oh, I don't know. Damn it. Well, look at this thing. Though. Why? Why? Because they hate. Because <laughs> it's their truck. That's he's, why. <laughs> he's, not as, he's not as big a mom or something. Dude, and then winches that just like poke out like that are just not for me either. Great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <laughs> he went pumpkin spice full shit. You know this guy got. You know this guy got two baby moms. Dude. Just look at the car. He went to Starbucks, got that pumpkin spice, and said, "You know what? It's that time of the year." Dude, you think he goes green and red for Christmas? <laughs> ah, man. No, it's paint. Bro, look, he was trying to do like you, but smaller version. <laughs> I, did it. I did it better. You did it better, bro. Dude, no, then he actually like, color matched like, the door handles. And... Like, come on, at least leave the button black. Dude. Okay, whatever. It's a Raptor. I get it. Like, they could have done so much better. Like, it looks cool. I like that offset of the colors right there. But then, like, like, paint all but then like everything else is orange also. <laughs> Yeah. Then why isn't this gray? You know yeah, what I mean? exactly. Or this black. Yeah. Uh, or these, like, come on, my guy. Like, you know what I mean? Why? Dude, color, color, color your bolts, man. Come on. I'm just saying, if you're gonna do that gray, then do this gray. That's true. It's you know what I mean? They're just a mixture of color. Like the palettes all over the place. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not for me. I'm gonna give it a four. Overall, it upsets guys, me. The more I see the hard tops colored, the overall, more I get mad. Overall, my guys, stick to your jeeps, please. Damn. Okay, give us a breakdown on this one. Classic Bronco, what year is it? Original as they get. Stock. Looks like a 5.2 supercharged. Tons. Dude, look how beautiful that thing is. I mean, you can't get more sexy than this right here. Classic Bronco, fully done up. This one is built correctly. Just time appropriate, even though it's all like, obviously updated, but it's just, they did it right. They kept as much of it as possible. It's got Hutchinson V locks, tons, and it's, it's got two of them shots. Man. 
Do they even have like a mount where you, you know, they release the latch and it goes down? Oh, that is sick. That's super sick. It's tied into their it's cage. Fat, it is, yeah. The simplicity and just like how good, how good it looks. It's just, it's nice. It's, it's, got, a it it's got all the fun sticks. It's got everything. Yeah, this one's how it much, dude? How much is this one? How much is it though? Very expensive. This is a 200 plus truck. Steven. <laughs> What do you think, dude? What's up? What do you think? This is a Bronco I don't know. I would go to Bronco Steve for this. You would go to Bronco Steve for this? I would hashtag Bronco Steve for this. <laughs> we already hashtag Bronco Steve. Yeah, the thing is beautiful. McGuire's did it right, man. This thing is shiny. Color is good. Again, it's period correct on the inside, even though it's modern. God, this is nice. This thing has AC in it. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's got extra parts right here. Yeah. Oh, damn, 1350 CVs. Damn, that CV is like so you know two going. grand. <laughs> I know. It's a beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful truck. Well done, whoever owns this. Well done. Lauren Healy's long travel Bronco, in-house made by Lauren Healy. Sick as fuck. Twin stick, Atlas transfer case, Lena 60 rear. Sick as sick. Sick. Everybody's seen that on the oh yeah, yo. If you're into Broncos at all, you already know what that looks you like. You know that one. That was last year's SEMA killer, basically, that came out and just kind of like shut it down. Yeah. And uh, now we're here. So, got 12 shocks. This is a two door 4600 class Bronco. Oh. It's it's gotta just, be stock. It just beats everything up. Yeah, it's beating people by minutes, not even seconds. In the race world, minutes. Okay. Simply, and then, completely stock, com <laughs> completely stock Bronco. <laughs> It's got four tires, just like this one. It says Bronco in the front. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're here. Fun have her. Setup is crazy. Is like we were trying to get to El Bandito, but it didn't hey, work out. They Ultra Ford champion this year? Yeah. That oh yeah, game? Ultra Ford champion, that's true. This one's won all kinds of shenanigans. This is not even. That one's just for fun. And um, I got to drive that one. It is it, badass. It's just amazing, man. Just all good. these things are sick. Optima Pennzoil. If you guys want another guppy, please pick me. <laughs> we will gladly test them. You know, let's get it. One way to close out this video, we got to bring you to the big old Lambo, baby. Dude, when you have a Raptor and a Raptor's not enough. Yeah, when you got all the money, Ooh. when you final boss everybody, you got a Raptor Raptor. You got a Raptor Raptor. Six doors. More, I mean, more horses. That's a saying, right? Six doors. Big family or just. Girls everywhere, dude. What do you yeah. think? Top off, girls in the top. Just I mean, girls? You want like glitter coming Steven. out of the thing and fireworks? I'm not, I'm not dude, like come here. So, obviously there's a six door Bronco right here. Yeah. Did he do it for the family or he just got girls? He got all the ladies. <laughs> all of them. Dang. He's just stacking them deep in there. ADD, front. <laughs> He's got the fenders. See, look, you see how much better just by not having the top match these look? I know, how does this truck look better than Yeah, this looks color? better than the regular Raptor. It's crazy. Like, even his wheel choice, tires, it just looks better. <laughs> I would drive this before I drove any of those orange ones. I would drive this before I drive a stock Raptor. Dude, please, owner of this, bring this to KOH. Yes. We need it. We need it. Let's film us mobbing with the goons, or let me borrow it. And then hot tub in the back for the ladies. No, not top off because we want to keep keep it clean. You know, you want to keep it clean on the inside. We but please, please bring this to KOH or Winter Jamboree. That is mob in it. That would be so sick. We'll take care of it. We'll turn on the light whips. It's from our can Arkansas. George has all the tires. In the oh yeah, according to Oscars, Arkansas. That's a treat. Fun. What? Did he do it for the family or did he do it for the ladies? <laughs> I did it for the ladies, baby. <laughs> yeah, Alrighty, team. So that wraps up another video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the breakdown, good, bad of all Broncos here at SEMA. Shout out to Oscar, Fawn, Steven showed up late, but he's here repping the brand as always. And uh, we're gonna wrap up the video here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the last two episodes of SEMA. There's a ton of things to do here. I covered maybe a quarter of it. Um, you can go deep into Toyotas, Hondas, Ford, Chevy, anything you want. It's here at SEMA. If you ever have the opportunity to come out. Come on out, man, because it's a good time. In Oscar. In conclusion, if you like color match cars, don't build nothing. Yeah, don't talk Please. to us. Just if you're matching completely, 
don't. don't. Just, just don't. don't. Yeah. Just walk away. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, all that good stuff. Go listen to our podcast if you haven't already. Um, it's on Spotify. It's called The Gatekeepers. And then come check us out Wednesdays at 7 p.m. I didn't jump on live this time, but we will continue as I get home. And then Moab is coming up, man. No more show cars. It's all performance, baby. Let's go.